Hi, my name is Miss Thomas. I'm an art teacher here at Hoffman and I've been here for four years. This is a crazy year and I think no one in their right minds could have imagined this a year ago. But with this awesome and innovative thing we call technology, we are able to come to your students in their living rooms, their bedrooms, in their offices, and we are able to reach out to them and experience maybe not the same, but the education that they would have had here in person. As an art teacher, this is a struggle of my lifetime. It is something that I never thought I would do, and yet it has forced me to get even more creative. One of the biggest things that I do in my classroom is have kids think about creative solutions to problems that fuel them. Well, teaching online was never something I expected to do, but I'm incredibly impassioned and excited to teach your students at the best capacity that I possibly can to make their art experience incredible. No matter what level you're in, it's going to be an interesting year and I'm excited to share it with all of you. Oh, hi, hey, how you doing? Expectations? Yeah, I was wondering the same thing. Miss Thomas? Thanks, Miss Thomas. Expectations. Of course, I want you to mute yourself when you're not talking. I want you to make sure that you're listening to others when they are and listening to me. If you have questions and you're too afraid to say them verbally, you can always say them through chat or you can always email me. As far as my expectations, show up on time, maybe even a little early and do your best. But my biggest, biggest expectation is to talk, to participate, be a part of the community. I. I'm talking currently to nothing and it's weird and I want to have a conversation. I want to have a two-way thing. I miss community and I know that we all miss it. And I want to make sure that we know that my expectation is to foster a community. So instead of me talking to nothing, kind of like I am right now, please make it so that we have a whole classroom full of fun laughter and we are getting our work done. Hi, I interrupt your regularly scheduled program for an example of what your kids see on Zoom. So normally I'm here and I have things projected on the screen. I'll take you through a little bit of our first day as far as what to expect in the class and a little bit about grading. So I show this image. Basically I say, what are these things? It's a painting, a drawing, and a print. So our class is called Painting, Drawing, and Printmaking. That's awesome. I said, well, this year, we're a little different. We might not get to all those traditional media because we might be fully online or we might have hybrid experience, but no matter what, we are going to be creating art this year. So what is Painting, Drawing, and Printmaking? Well, first and foremost, we are a studio making class. We make works of art. And I teach you technical skills about drawing, painting, and printmaking. And then next, we explore the world of art. Google has an amazing app called Google Arts and Culture, and it lets us explore museums such as the Art Institute of Chicago, which unfortunately this year we won't be able to go on a field trip to, but we can virtually do it. Next, we look at contemporary artists working today and see how they are inundated into our culture. And every single little ounce of things that you see around you was designed by someone. Lastly, we keep a visual journal. Uh, it's like keeping track of your progress. It's also researching and developing your process and reflecting on that. Reflecting is big. It's the only way that we can grow and it's the biggest, most important thing that we do in painting, drawing, and printmaking. Oh, hey! Well, just like washing your hands, it's important to know how your grade percentages work out in my class. So, here they are. Um, as you can see on this beautiful graphic that is most likely displayed right next to me, 40% of your grade is participation or performance. You have to be active in my class in order to get a good grade. It's 40%, that's almost half. 
And then 25% goes to projects and 25% goes to coursework. Coursework is those little individual things that I have you turn in on a day-to-day -day basis. And projects are things that you turn in after we work on them for a little bit of time. But again, it's the performance that's key. Make sure that you're participating. And if you're falling behind or you need help, ask. It's the best way. I don't always know if you need help. Zoom doesn't do a great job of showing me. You have to show me. Oh. Oh. Hey. So uh, I spent a ton of hours packing up these awesome art packets for you guys to use. Make sure that you guys come to school and pick them up. It's really important so that we can get working on stuff traditionally as well as digitally. After school supports, they're important. You can be here in person or you can do them online. I have access to them on my Schoology page and I also have the Zoom link listed there as well. And any other information that you might need, you can always contact me through email at bthomas but it's not at B Thomas. It's just B Thomas at d211.org. It's on the screen right now. I am always available through email. Here's to a great year in art. Sometimes you need to stop and smell the roses. And this year, they're giant fake roses, but they're still beautiful. We're gonna make the best of this, and I'm excited to. Welcome to painting, drawing, printmaking with Miss Thomas. We're all one big happy family. us bond together in ways that other classes don't and it gives us a lot of creative freedom. I have a sweater. This is perfection. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you should take art because it can help you with your future. And it's fun. You were covering a lot. 